Hello and welcome from Amsterdam. I am filming in my mate's uh, apartment. Her name is Georgia. So a big shout out to Georgia. Thank you so much. And for those that are with me today, we are moving through a vinyasa flow. Now, when you're ready to begin, come to a comfortable seated position on your mat. Just bringing your hands to the tops of your knees, roll your shoulders up to your ears, allow them to drop back and down and closing down your eyes or dropping your gaze down towards your ankles, towards your mat. Take a deep breath in and a long releasing breath out. And just taking these next few moments to check in. Noticing how you feel, your body, your mind, and your breath before you flow through your practice. Really moving away from any judgment, being kind to yourself here as you check in. And allowing your breath just to flow naturally through your body. And if this feels really good, pausing in this moment, just stay here. But when you're ready to bring some movement in, begin to drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Drop your chin towards your chest. Left ear to left shoulder. And moving with your breath, flowing from side to side really gently waking up your body. And taking time to pause from side to side, you might move into a, a full head circle here. And just keep with this half moon shape. And the next time your chin falls to your chest, Pause here, feel the length through the back of your neck, run down your spine, all the way into your sit bones. And as you breathe in, lift your chin up towards the ceiling, really pull your shoulders back, lift through your chest, open through your throat. Let's take one more deep breath in here. And as you breathe out, bring yourself to centre. You might slowly open your eyes or you can keep a soft gaze. Inhale, sweep your arms up. And as you exhale, twisting over to the right. Your gaze rolls behind you. And now really relax through your belly, the front of your hips. Pulling your chest up towards the sky. Breathe in. As you breathe out, walk your hands over to the right. So you're folding over your right knee. You can bring your fingertips to your mat, the palms of your hands, or drop down to your elbows. Tuck your chin towards your chest. So feel that rounding come into the back of your body. Just noticing if your sit bones have rocked up off your mat. If they have, just pressing them down and just coming out of a stretch a little bit. Another deep breath in. And as you breathe out, walking yourself to centre. Inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, twist over to the left. Arriving softly to this twist, relax through your belly, the front of your hips. And shine your heart forward, maybe bringing a soft smile to your face. Inhale. And as you exhale, begin to walk over to the left. So folding over your left knee and just choosing what option felt good for you on the right hand side. Take it over to the left hand side. Allowing that heaviness to come into your head, really drop your chin towards your chest. Check in on your sit bones. If you've rocked out, settle them back down and lean out of the stretch a little. Nice work. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, bringing yourself to centre and making your way to your tabletop position. Your hands come underneath your 
the shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. I forgot what they were for a moment. As you breathe in, drop your belly, lift your chest. Exhale, roll through your spine, press the floor. Inhale to your cow. Exhale to your cats. One breath, one movement here. Closing down your eyes. And feel your breath really moving into your body. One thing I love about yoga is sinking your breath to your movements. Moving through one more cat. And then bring yourself to centre. Walk to the top of your mat. As you arrive, lengthen your right leg behind you. Tuck your toe and push the floor away. Now begin to draw your core in. So pull your belly button back to your spine. A nice flat back here. And you should feel this stretch run up the right leg. And breathing in. As you breathe out, bring your hips to centre, kick your left foot out to the left and reach your right arm up towards the sky. Inhale here. As you exhale, drop your right hand to your head and then twisting over to the left. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to twist. So you don't have to move deeply here. Just knowing where you need to go to feel that gentle twist run through your body. No discomfort. The next time you inhale, lengthen your right arm up towards the sky. And now reach your arm to the top of your mat. Take a full side body stretch. Maybe lifting your heart, rolling your right shoulder behind you. Press your hips forward, breathe in. And as you breathe out, bring yourself back to centre and moving to the other side. So lengthen through your left leg, tuck your toe, push the floor away and draw your belly in, strong through your arms. Welcoming this deep stretch into the left leg. Inhale. As you exhale, hips to centre, kick your right leg out to the right hand side. Reach your left arm up towards the sky, breathe in. As you exhale, your hand comes to the back of your head and begin to twist to the right. Inhale to open. Exhale to twist. And just making sure you're moving in a way that feels really good for your body today. The next time you breathe in, lengthen your left arm up towards the sky. As you breathe out, your left arm reaches to the top of your mat, a full side body stretch. Press your hips forward, roll your left shoulder to behind you. Your heart is shining to the sky. Smile here, breathing. As you breathe out, bring yourself back into your tabletop. A little shake of the hips, shake it all out, tuck your toes and fly back to your downward facing dog. Begin to pedal through your heels. Really spread through your fingers. Lift up through your hips. And settling down, arriving really strong to your down dog. Inhale, roll forward, high plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Option to drop your knees. Allow your elbows to scrape the sides of your body. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do two more like this. Inhale, roll forward, high plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice work. Moving with your breath. Breathe in, roll forward. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra. 
And this time push back to a child's pose. Knees nice and wide, melt your hips back, forehead comes down to your mat. An option to relax through your shoulders, bend through your elbows, or bring the palms of your hands together and send the thumbs to the back of your neck. So coming into your child's pose with a prayer. Take five deep breaths here. Let your body reset. taking as much time as you need to arrive back into a downward facing dog. As you arrive, begin to walk to the top of your mat, arriving in your forward fold, and a nice big bend through your knees, so much so that your chest, your belly rests on your thighs, your hands come to your elbows, shake your head from side to side, and sway into your ragdoll. Let everything be heavy. All of your shoulders, your neck, your head, any tension you're holding in your jaw or in between your eyebrows. Let go of your day. Dropping your hands down towards your mat as slowly as you can. Peel your body all the way up to standing. Inch by inch, roll your shoulders back and down. Draw your head up towards the ceiling. Pardon me. <laughs> My nose is dripping. I've got a little bit of a cold. <laughs> Bringing yourself to the top of your mat. Roll your shoulders back and down. Let's take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Inhale, sweep your eyes up. Exhale, swan dive down, melt over your legs, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step your right leg back into your, your high lunge and just rock forwards and backwards here. Feel that lovely deep stretch come into your hip flexor. Pressing down through your right hand, reach up through your left, easy twist. Breathe in. As you breathe out, drop your right knee down. And then take your left hand to the inside of your left foot. And if it's comfortable, reach your right arm up towards the sky. One breath in. As you breathe out, your hands frame your foot. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward, high plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Bend your knee, open your hip, roll through your ankles, spread through your toes. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, sweep it all the way through, back into your high lunge, pull your chest forward. Step together, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands to heart centre. Breathe in, reach up. Breathe out, swan dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step your left leg back into your high lunge and just rock forwards and backwards. I really like bringing a little bit of movement into a pose because I feel like it just finds a little bit more space. Gets rid of those cobwebs. Pressing down through your left hand, reach up through your right. Easy twist. Sink through your hips. Now really pushing the floor away with your right foot and softly land your left knee back down onto the mat. Breathe in. As you breathe out, your right hand comes to the inside of your right foot, either, either choosing to stay here or lifting up through your left arm. Let's take one more breath in. 
As you breathe out, frame your foot with your hands, step back, downward facing dog. Rolling through your vinyasa. Option just to stay in your downward facing dog if you need a moment to pause and reset. Inhale, your right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Bend your knee, open your hip. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sweep it all the way through. Back into your high lunge. Step together, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step, jump or hop back into your high plank. Pausing here, draw in through your core, push the floor away with your hands. Nice work. Breathe in. As you breathe out, push back, downward facing dog. Well done. Inhale, your right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Bend your knee, open your hip up. As you exhale, sweep it all the way through into your crescent lunge. So find your ground and begin to grow. Now really sink through your hips, reach through your arms. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, roll into your warrior two. Reach through your arms, soften through your shoulders. Inhale, flip your front hand. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Breathe in. As you breathe out, cartwheel your hands down. Step back, high plank. Push back, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Bend your knee, open your hip. Take a breath in here. And as you breathe out, sweep it all the way through into your crescent lunge. And just take a moment to arrive. Draw in and through your core, reach up through your arms, sink through your hips. Inhale. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Now relax through your shoulders. Tuck your tailbone under. Sometimes when I come into my warrior two, I like to flare through my bottom. Tuck your tailbone under. Relax and sink into it. Inhale, flip your front hand. Exhale, reverse your warrior. And we breathe in. As you breathe out, cartwheel your hands down. Step back into your high plank. Push back. Downward facing dog. And just walk your feet to the center of your mat. Your hands follow as they sway over to the right. And let them sway over to the left. Bringing yourself to center. Shake out your head, your arms. Little wiggle of your legs. Inhale to a halfway lift. As you exhale, fold and just make your way down to your bottom. And then all the way onto your back. So I'm going to wiggle all the way forward. As you arrive onto your back, reach your arms long, reach your legs away. A full body stretch, breathe in. And as you breathe out, hug your right knee into your chest. Now really hug it in tight and just roll through your ankle. Spread through your toes. Moving into a one-legged twist, taking your right knee over to the left side of your mat. And you might need to adjust your hips here, pop a pillow underneath your knee, but finding your variation of a twist. And you might choose to rest your arms on your body. Your arms might come out long. And close down your eyes, let everything go. 
A twist is a great way to just unwind. slowly as you can, bringing yourself to centre, lengthening both legs, reach your arms long, inhale, as you exhale, hug your left knee into your chest, squeeze it tight, roll through your ankle, spread through your toes, and then move into your twist on this side. Notice as you come into your twist, if you can scan your body. Can you allow your shoulders to fall towards your mat? Can you release through the front of your hips, your lower back, allowing yourself to really melt into this uh, twist that we're doing now? Slowly bringing yourself to centre and hugging both knees into your chest, cross your ankles over and just sway from side to side. You might choose to stay here or move into a happy baby pose by holding the outside edges of your feet, pulling down through your feet, but also pushing away with your legs. Counter stretch. Welcome in a little sway side to side. And then releasing your feet so then mat width apart, allow your knees to fall inwards, lift up your hips and place them back down. Allow your left hand to come to your heart, right hand to your belly. Closing down your eyes or welcome the soft gaze as you take a deep breath in. A clearing breath out. And here just take a moment to think of one thing that you're grateful for today. It might be arriving to your mat. It might have been an interaction with a friend or family member, watching the clouds and the trees move in nature. And allowing this gratitude just to melt over your body and just feel that softness arrive, really letting go of any remaining tension you're holding on to. Taking as much time as you need here. But when it feels right to move, just slowly rolling to one side and bringing yourself back up to that comfortable seated position we began to, today's practice in. I'm stuttering on my words as I feel so relaxed. So making your way to your bottom. Closing down your eyes once more. Soften through your shoulders, relax through your belly, the front of your hips. And as you breathe in, sweep your arms up towards the sky, reach through your fingertips, maybe a little twinkle with your fingers, your hands. And as you exhale, your hands pull down to your heart center and just feel the connection of your thumbs on your chest. Sealing today's practice with a deep breath in and a clearing breath out. And gently opening your eyes. 
Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed today's vinyasa flow. If you have any suggestions or practices that you would like, please comment below. And as always, sharing with others and subscribing to my channel is amazing and I love you for it. So please, please share me with the world and subscribe to my channel and I will love you forever. But until next week, have a fantastic day, a fantastic week, and I will see you next time. Bye guys.